Do you want to spend a little bit more time outside on your patio but you don't like what you see? Well, you can try to add more flowers, colors, and brightness using solar lights from Dollar Tree. Welcome back to my channel. So excited for today's video because we are going to be doing so many DIYs using solar lights. Yes, finally. I'm going to be creating some DIYs and hacks that you have to try using these solar lights that you can get at Dollar Tree, Walmart, and other dollar stores too. If you liked today's video, make sure that you give me a big thumbs up, that you are subscribed to this channel, that you check my other one, Jacks of My Home. I'm going to leave you the link in the description. So yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed today's video video and let's get started okay let's get started with this project i'm going to be using this big planter and you can find a similar one at dollar tree and i'm going to use it to put it outdoors what i'm going to do is first i'm going to use these two pieces of foam that i just have at home and i'm going to glue them to my planter with hot glue you can run to dollar tree and get solar lights i get a bunch of them for this project i'm going to be using only three what i'm going to do is to add like the pointy part that supposed to go on the ground and I'm going to put that on my solar lights and that is what is going to help me to put all of my solar lights through the piece of foam that I just stick to my planter and like I said I'm going to use three solar lights for this project once I have that part ready I need to cover everything you can use any greenery that you have maybe moss I have a garland for a very long time and I wanted to use it so I'm going to add that to cover all of the foam in my planter And if you want to add that extra touch not for spring you can use some flowers any color i love neutral so i'm gonna go with white and you can spread out all of the stems from your flowers and once i did that i'm going to insert the flowers into the piece of foam and because i spread them out it looks beautiful and perfect on my planter now you can leave your project just like that or if you want to add an extra touch i'm going to be using a piece of ribbon and i'm going to stick that on the very top part of my solar lights i want to add some texture to this project and i think this ribbon is going to be a game changer i'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue on top then add the ribbon and then cut it and i'm going to do the same on the three solar lights Once I have that part ready, this is how my project turns out and I really, really like it. I think it's a beautiful project, easy, anyone can do it. You can use it as a centerpiece, but at night this is going to be perfect too because the solar lights are going to do their job and it's going to look beautiful and super bright at night. Okay, let's go with the next project. I'm going to be using this candle holder from Dollar Tree. They usually are like clear, but I'm reusing this one for this project. And for this project, I'm also going to be using this other um, pretty big candle holder that I have, but you can use uh, maybe two candle holders from Dollar Tree. They have a bunch of different styles that you can choose from. Now what I'm going to do is I want everything to look the same. So I'm going to use some Waverly chalk paint in black color and just with one coat of paint is going to be enough because it's going to cover really well this product. I'm going to paint both of the candle holders in black color. I just give the other one a small touch up because it has so many scratches. Um, but yeah, this is how they turn out. Once I have that part ready, um, I'm going to use some solar lights, of course, and this makes me so excited. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove like the stick of the solar lights. I'm only going to be using the top part of these solar lights. I'm going to be using two because I just have two candle holders, but you can do the same with maybe three, four, five candle holders if you want. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue and I'm going to stick the solar lights on my candle holders they fit perfect these candle holders are going to look amazing on any dining table for outdoors or maybe a coffee table it's gonna look beautiful during the day and it's gonna look super bright at night
in my latest um, video I share with you how I made a beautiful and gigantic wreath for my front door perfect for the spring season and also summer because of the colors that I choose I just reuse this big wreath that I have I add some greenery on the bottom part and then I also add some flowers um, like I always said you can use any flower that you like you maybe can use just greenery it depends on what you like and what matches with your home and your style what I did was to use some flowers in blue color I cut the stems on these and then I insert those through my wreath and I did the same with these flowers in white color Once I was done with that part, I decided to add a beautiful um, sign that I have at home. It says, welcome to our home, and I just add that with a piece of twine. I make a small knot on top, and then as a final touch, I decide to add a ribbon. I have so many ribbons that I like to get when the Christmas season is over. They are so much cheaper, and as you can see, they are very neutral, so I love to buy those and use them all year round. As you can see, this is how my project turned out and I really like it and I'm so happy with how it turned out. But this time I decide just to give it a small refresh and add some solar lights and I'm so happy that I did it. What I did was to remove like the stick of these three solar lights. You can add more or less depending on the size of your wreath. And the only thing that you have to do is to stick like the top part of your solar light on your wreath I decide to use some hot glue but I highly recommend using a stronger glue to make sure that they're going to stick really well and they're going to stay strong on your wreath once that part is ready you just have to hang your wreath on your front door and this is going to look super super beautiful it's gonna look super bright at night but also during the day it looks pretty good on my wreath I think it's a really nice idea and hack that you have have to try. Okay, next project. You are going to need one planter. Just make sure that it's a little bit tall. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a piece of foam inside of my planter. Make sure that you add some hot glue if you want, um, just to make the project a little bit more stable. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of these solar lights from Dollar Tree and I'm going to add that on my piece of foam. Now, just to give it some weight, on this project I'm going to be using some rocks or you can use stones or whatever you have at home um, to bring some weight to your project I'm going to add a few of those inside of my planter and then it's time to add some greenery or flowers I have this bouquet from Dollar Tree and it brings these beautiful flowers that I think that are perfect now for spring I'm going to be adding those on my planter you can cut the stems or the wire um, to be able to insert those on the piece of foam and then if you want you can add a little bit of greenery just for that extra green touch on your project once I was done this is how my project turned out I, I think it's a beautiful and perfect project to put outside and you can do so many more of these to decorate your front porch or your backyard Okay, my friends, I really want to share this project with you because I love how it turned out. And just for you to be prepared for the next seasons that are coming. I made this project last year for Christmas and I really love how it turned out. And basically what I did was to get one of these pool noodles. You can get these all year round at Dollar Tree and they just always change the colors. And I'm also going to be using some tape because I made this project for Christmas. I was trying to create like some candy canes and I get the tape in red color and the pulled noodle in white color what I did was to start adding the tape in like a spiral way on my pulled noodle trying to create that um, candy cane effect 
once I was done with that part and I covered the whole um, pull noodle, I'm going to be using this handle from a broom that you can get at Dollar Tree. This is the perfect size for this product. And I'm also going to be using, of course, some solar lights. And I'm going to insert the bottom part of this solar light on my handle. And you can stick that with hot glue or you can use the same tape. Once I have that part ready, I'm going to add the handle inside of my pool noodle. Like I said, it's the perfect size for this project. And once I have that part ready, your project's supposed to look something like this. Then at the top part, the only thing that I have to do is to stick the solar light. And for that, I'm going to be using just a little bit of hot glue. I did two candy canes to put on my front porch. Once I have both of my candy canes ready, what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert these on the ground with the bottom part of my solar lights. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. And this is how they turned out. I really love how they look. And you can do this same project uh, any time of the year. Just change the colors and the look for something that maybe looks a little bit better for the summer season or the spring or for autumn. Now, if you are lucky enough, you can still find these solar lights at the fall season. I was lucky last year and I got a bunch of them and also these foam pumpkins. And what I did this time was to get three of these pumpkins. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the top part of the pumpkins like that little green stem. And then I'm going to start using my solar lights. I'm going to assemble them and I'm going to put the pointy part. And with that, I'm going to basically like make a hole on my pumpkin. I'm going to insert that whole piece into my pumpkin and I'm going to be doing the same thing on the three pumpkins that I have. Now, if you want to leave your project like that, it's okay, but just to reinforce everything um, and make your project a little bit stronger, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a small amount of hot glue on the bottom part of the pumpkin and that way I'm going to stick together the foam pumpkin with the stick of my solar light. Once I have that part ready, my friend, this project is ready. It's done and I love how it looks. I used this for the fall season last year and I love how it turned out. But you can transform these. Try to take the idea. Maybe you can add flowers now for the spring season or something different for summer. And yeah, I just hope that you can get some ideas on how you can use the solar lights from Dollar Tree to create amazing projects, amazing home decor that are very functional, that is going to save you some money and that is going to look beautiful too if you like this video make sure that you give me that big thumbs up it really helps to support my channel let me know in the comments which of these ideas is one of your favorites if you have done one of these projects before let me know that in the comments make sure that you are subscribed and that you follow me on all my social media pages the links are going to be in the description box of this video and every single one Mwah, guys thank you so much for the love and support and see you in the next one bye